Okay, we're starting recording and uh, we're also up on Facebook. Uh, and uh, this is our, um, let me see here. There we go. This is our uh, Monday show and we're doing it on Labor Day. How about that? Huh? I don't know why we're doing it on Labor Day, but we're doing it on Labor Day. All right. Okay, anyway, let me see here. Let me start bringing in all these people. Admit all. Okay. Let me see here. Who's here? There's Mandy, um, and there's Andrew, and there's Charlie, and there's Paul Eleven, and there's Len LaFrisco, and anybody else? Uh, let's see here. Okay, admit all. Uh, we've got uh, Edward Berger is joining us, and uh, Rick Sheckman is joining us. He should be. He should be. Hello there, Edward. How are you today? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. good, good. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to... Oh, Rick, you aren't uh, joining us. Admit all. Okay, admit. Okay. There we go. There's Rick. I don't He's coming know. in twice. Huh? He's coming in twice. <laughs> why he was... Uh, he's up here twice, but... Uh, I... Well, I tried to get in and it wouldn't go in. So I got out and, and then came back. Well, it yeah. still says you're trying to get in. <laughs> well, you... the other ver the first version didn't work. It's our Labor Day edition of uh, of this program. Of the program. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, how many here have ever belonged to a union? Okay, okay. So you know, yeah, you you. I forgot. Rick is part of my union. I'm SAG after it. Miss Agaftra. And uh, let's see here. Who else raised a hand? Andrew, did you raise your hand? No. Who else? Uh, Charlie, what union did you belong to? Ask me whatever AFCSME, whatever it is. Ask me. <laughs> As a retired state worker, I joined it. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. I thought you said uh, American you Federation of City municipal well, something like county municipal and I, yeah who else raise their hand paula teachers union right teachers union and uh 11.99 for uh, uh with uh, at a counseling center oh so, really uh, okay two and union. I, len, actually, yeah i actually helped to organize it yeah len you're you're, you're not union are you nope never been never been okay uh and marjorie i don't think marjorie if you ever belong to a union i guess you were a teacher you probably belonged to a union didn't you all right you got it marjorie yes yeah did you ever belong to a union i think when i was a teacher it was unionized but i'm not yeah. sure yeah probably was that's what i was thinking is that you yeah okay well, well for all you union members Thank you for your service. <laughs> you know, I was saying the other day that Labor Day doesn't feel much like Labor oh, Day. Oh, Labor Day. I didn't even get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't get it. Oh, no. Okay. Well, you see, I mean, we don't really think of Labor Day that much anymore. We don't celebrate right. it that way. You know, to us. No, you have barbecues, I gather. It, you it's know. Bar it's yeah. barbecues. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, I don't know what part of Christianity at Easter had to do with marshmallow rabbits or, but just, <laughs> <laughs> peeps. you know, I don't know what peeps have to do with Easter, but apparently they do, you know. So. Oh, so I've, I've never been in a union, but uh, I was in labor once. <laughs> <laughs> now you are. <laughs> I was born out of it, I think. Yeah, yeah right. You were involved in labor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the other side of the table. Yeah. The only time in your life that you didn't have to really work hard at whatever was happening. It was somebody <laughs> else's job. Right? You had, you had no say in it either. Right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it wouldn't, I imagine all the jokes somebody's having right now if they're pregnant and about to give birth to a child on Labor Day. You know, man, you never belonged to a union, did you? No. No, she lives in Georgia. They don't have unions down there. 
She went to the student union once in college. Yeah. <laughs> well, in recent times, unions aren't as predominant as they once were. I mean, our union, SAG, no. right? The, 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 Waste the, of time. Well, I mean, there was a time where if you worked a radio station in New York City, you belonged to the union. And now it's not necessarily true. They're not yeah. union anymore. And uh, so, whatever. Your statement, Rick. Whatever. Now, whatever. Rick was supposed to be in California today, but again, he decided not to go. And it was good because it uh, what about 101 degrees out there right now? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's 105 at my house going to 115 today. <laughs> oh. At your oh house? My at my house. Oh. Do you ever remember it being that warm? One time two years ago, it was 114. Yep. Really? Now you're where again? You're in Livermore, so about 60 miles east of San Francisco. Okay, so you're, out in, hot... in... you're out in the hot zone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the Central Valley. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and uh what what is uh it look it, it almost looks like Mike Chisholm is petting a cat or something, but it's, he's actually running his uh, iPad. <laughs> I wish I was petting a cat. Yeah, yeah. Marjorie, it would be a perfect Labor Day. Marjorie wants us to get a cat. I do. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and she we she said actually she wants two cats, which I agree. Yeah. Said you could pick any type you want. I wouldn't mind just getting a faucet cap from the pound, but mm. Alex says, "Oh no, I have to have a Siamese." Uh, okay. Well, they're the they're, they're the most lovely cats that you can own. They're just so warm and fuzzy and happy. Well, so is a cat that's about to be put to death. Right. <laughs> they're they're True. they're they're happy too. Well, they're not going oh, to be very I happy. I, I think most uh, don't uh, aren't don't most uh, pounds now. They don't put animals to sleep anymore. Oh yes, they do. Oh yeah, they do. They still do. <laughs> oh. That's why I got a cat. I mean, my coworker said to me, "Okay, yeah, um, I, are you going to come look at these cats? I'm going to have to take them to the pound." Like she almost guilted me into it, <laughs> and I had that cat for 23 years. Whoa. Wow. Wow. She lived to be 23. And I'm t and anytime anybody has mentioned having a cat, I'm like, no. I, I, it's not that I don't like cats. I just did my cat time. You know what well. I mean? I'm like, I do not <laughs> want to do any more litter boxes. But my daughter has two cats. They're brother and sister. And I kept so, having so cats all the I kept yeah. having cats all the time. And then I stopped it, I think, because I, I got tired of them dying on me. You know, I mean, <laughs> I no, even if it's 23 years, it's going to oh, die, right? Yeah, you know, but at my that age, this cat, yeah, these cats are going to look at us and go, we'll be, around. <laughs> we'll be around for a while. Goodbye. Just make sure somebody feeds us. Yeah. <laughs> but, my wife had a 21-year-old cat that passed about two years ago. Really? Yeah. They can last a long time. I, I didn't realize that. Oh, cats are, uh, I had one that was 18. I think, you know, so. I feel like we've talked about this before. I'm having deja vu. Of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have we talked about this before? I feel like we've had this conversation. Can we have deja yeah. vu being in Mexico having a cocktail? How about that one? Exactly. <laughs> I just literally walked in about 10 minutes ago from coming back from Charleston. And it was, the traffic was, it took so much longer to get home than it should have. Um, really? It was fun. Yeah. Okay, what were you doing in Charleston? <coughs> Just visiting. I mean, you know, and it was very crowded. You should say the Charleston. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even been outside today. I was going to go out, and then it got warm again. You know, it was real nice around noon. It was really just very pleasant, you know. But we we took a walk yesterday. Now we we, we had lobster rolls today. We had lobster rolls today. She ordered lobster rolls from Stu Leonard's, uh, which is is Rick so good. is so good. Yeah, they're really good. They're nice chunky amounts of lobster and you know. Mm. 
the yeah. Cousins Lobster Truck comes around here. It's actually quite good. They have a, a, a what do you call it, a food truck. Yeah. It was on uh, Shark Tank, I think. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about Cousins. Yeah, co yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they, Marjorie says they're in New York now. I, yeah, I think they're everywhere now. Really? Oh, no, they're not. They're not in Ohio. And I really miss lobster <laughs> in Ohio, I tell you. <laughs> well, you know, for years, you couldn't get lobster in California that was decent. because right. Well, because lobster has to travel, and it changes in travel. But I think they've done something about that now. I don't know what. But still, yeah. you know. Grand price. <laughs> East Coast is where you get lobster. But is I there lobster on the West Coast? There is Very lobster, little. lobster, but it's not good, you know. Yeah, but you get Dungeness crabs out on the West Coast. Well, that's that's right. Yes, we have that advantage, and they don't travel well, you know, mm -hmm. out here. So, you know, I mean, uh, but I, uh, I, I always enjoyed it, you know, uh, uh, when I could lay my hands on lobster, and I did when I came to the east coast i'd never had lobster till i came to the east coast hmm. are you serious as a matter of fact where was i when i first had lobster i think it was at jerry wexler's house hmm. he was the former head of one of the heads of atlantic records hmm. and, uh, my girlfriend knew the family and we went out there and i think they served lobster it was the first time i had ever had lobster wow and I never went back. I mean, not—I don't mean not to their place. I don't think I was ever invited back. But uh, anyway, I—I I, I never. I, after that, I was a lobster fan. Now, Marjorie, on the other hand, on her birthday, I took her someplace. I said, "I'm surprised you for dinner." And I took her to this great lobster place on what Twenty Third Street, I think it was. It's only. Yeah, but I had issues with lobster. Well, I know. And then I. I said, okay, we're having lobster. And she went, I can't eat lobster. Oh. <laughs> what happens with you and lobster? Well, it used to just hit my stomach. It didn't digest. Oh. But it's fine now. It's fine now? Well, well we had the lobster for lunch. down those lobster rolls. Yeah. 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 So uh, anyway, I bet you're glad you're not in, out in California right now with all that heat, Rick. You know? Yeah. Good call. Yes, I am. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Good. And as you know, and not to get into it, I haven't been feeling great. And I just didn't want to go to the airport, get on an airplane, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Well, who wants to go on an airplane anymore? I mean, who wants to go through that Soros, as we call it, you know? Like Paula takes the plane here all the time, and I don't know how she does it, but, you know. But it's, it's a short. Uh, a trip. It's like uh, maybe an hour and a half. Yeah. And I and I get off at at, at LaGuardia and I go into a taxi and the first thing I see is that beautiful skyline and I'm happy. So, yeah. 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 And uh, Len, you're coming to to New York. I am October. Yeah. Well, I have you down on my calendar here. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna have a little lunch, I think. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Along with. <laughs> I think Rick's coming too, yeah. 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 And uh, my daughter made it Thursday, so she sent me some great pictures so far. Oh, great. She decided to move to New York. She lives in Midtown. I got to tell you, something really? weird. Something weird's happening here in New York. And I mentioned it to Shecky, and he immediately knew what it was. We went up to the pharmacy the other day, the drugstore, the what do they call them now besides pharmacies? They're, you know. Because if you go to a pharmacy, toothpaste is just one of the things they sell, but they have coats and jackets and all kinds of stuff, you know, uh, and uh, the pharmacy's way in the back. It's an afterthought. And we're going down the aisles and they're all empty. All the shelves are empty. Everything. So we asked the pharmacist, what's with the shelves? They're all empty. He says, I said, uh, they, you can't restock them. Is there a problem restocking them? He says, no, that's theft. What? what? And I went, what? And he said, yeah, the mayor passed a new law that anything uh, under a certain amount, they won't arrest you for. Oh. They, can keep, they can just keep and go. Now, you know me, I'm a big left winger, and I, I, I'd like to understand the philosophy behind this, 
but it doesn't make any sense no. because you know i'm even thinking about going up and stealing something just because i won't get arrested for it. <laughs> just test the theory test it out why do i want to pay 50 bucks for you know seven razor blades i can steal them that doesn't, that doesn't even sound real tell no. them tell them, that up. tell them Sheck, what it's what? real <laughs> Really? You know, as you know, we have a mayor who just likes going to nightclubs. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but what is the theory behind <laughs> let's not arrest anybody under a certain amount? And what is that amount, by the well, way? Well, look, you know? look, Alex, how good are the crime statistics now? So little crime. Yeah, crime. you're right. There's less crime because we're not arresting people for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not illegal. It's not a crime. It I didn't stop them more like that. It costs them more to prosecute it than, you know, than it's worth, I guess. Well, then you can imagine that these people like uh, our Rite Aid or whatever, will one day just say to hell with it and close down the business and leave exactly. down. Yep. Well, that's what we thought they were doing. We're closing down. Yeah, that's Remember? what we thought. We thought maybe they were yeah. letting the shelves go empty. And then the sure. next week we go by there and it says move to a different location or whatever. Yeah. But that wasn't the case. He said, it's because of thievery. And then he pointed over to a bunch of uh, bottled waters and they were down quite a bit, you know, the stack of them. And he said, they used to go almost to the ceiling, but they've all been stolen. Wow. Maybe, maybe it'll kind of slow down after a while because people won't have the thrill anymore. <laughs> like a lot of people steal just for the sheer thrill of it. Mm. Well, I don't know, you know. No, I, apparently they sell it somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. Uh -uh. Especially waters. Yeah. I know that Atlanta, there's, uh, you know, especially when you get close to in town, like downtown, there's people that are just like teenage boys that'll be like on like the exit, like you get off of the you know the highway and they're at the top of the exit and they're selling like Gatorades and waters and stuff. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And there was a woman yesterday, I think, as we were walking, who was selling water uh, down by the Harlem Mirror. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's stolen, Alex. No, it doesn't mean. No, it's I, stolen. I don't. I'm not saying that either. I'm just saying that's a thing. But yeah, it's these true. Kids will be out there selling years, a lot of years ago, Alex, when I lived in Brazil, I was taking a a ride to a factory that was way out. There was a traffic jam, and the kids were all selling the water on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. and if you paid attention, they'd pick up the plastic bottles, go down to the 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 runoff, fill it back up and come up and sell it to people in their cars. <laughs> <laughs> they had little, they put the caps back on them and sold them to people in the cars. Oh boy. Ooh. It's the beauty of living somewhere where people litter. You throw it out and they'll fill it up and give sell it back to you. Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm very much a lefty and I, I'd like to, I'd like to understand what the thinking is behind this, but apparently it's probably what somebody just said. They just don't want to have to pay to prosecute. Sure. Yeah, so, but you know, I, I just, I don't know. I just, there's something wrong with that, you know. Well, they, and they don't want their people going running after them and trying to, you know, stop them from going out the door because they'll get hurt and then they'll get sued. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right, right. So, I, Marjorie, you want to go up and get some stuff uh, from the uh, <laughs> from the drugstore? I'll let you do it, Alex. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you're right. gonna need, one of you needs to stay home in case they have to bail you out. I'll be the one guy that decide to arrest. Exactly. You know, so. Well, that's because you're a white guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yes, but, uh, you know, this mayor is just, it, he, he doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's terrible. They did it all last, mayor. Hey. hey, Charlie, you all right? Wow. Charlie? Charlie? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Did you phase uh, out? Yeah, I got my flu shot yesterday, so I'm a little groggy today. What, the new flu shot? Yeah. The new one? The new one, yeah. Well, we asked about the, that's why we were up at the pharmacy, and they said we haven't gotten them in yet. Well, we no, that's Boston. COVID. Oh, the regular the flu, flu shot. shot. Yeah, the flu shot, yeah. Oh, you know something? Yeah, that's the reason I was feeling kind of crappy for a day or so. We got one the other day, and I forgot that I had gotten it till I looked at my mm -hmm. arm, and I had a bandage that was there for two days. <laughs> they, always put, they, they always put a bandage on there, and you go, "Why?" You know, doesn't make sense.
because you take it off, there's no blood on the bandage or anything. It's just to make you feel good, I think. No, I think it bleeds for just a few minutes. You know, I always have a little spot of blood, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you something. Uh, Marjorie and I went, to, took a walk through the park the other day. <laughs> and we decided to do another one of our little Alex and Marjorie shows. I haven't had a chance to watch the whole thing yet. I started to watch it and then I had to turn it off. It's only off. five minutes. It's only five minutes. No, 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 eight no, minutes. No, I started driving and I couldn't hear it then. Eight minutes. Not much of a time investment, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'll watch it as soon as this is over. And so I put it up on Facebook. I put it up on three of my Facebook pages so that they were all there. And then I uh, put it up on YouTube. And as of today, we've had over 1,400 views. Wow. <laughs> wow. And again, I'm saying to myself, what am I busting my butt for to get like a couple of hundred people a night for that show that we do at night you know this one gets what? slightly more than that but i mean i don't know what that's all about the first what week were you, what were you talking about nothing a little a little a little something i think so i think somebody did that a show about nothing <laughs> <laughs> that's us. That's us. uh no but I, I, you know i um i i just you know I'm, I'm thinking why do we work too terribly hard what we did the most exciting thing on this video right was we showed some turtles in the pond <laughs> well that explains it yeah yeah and they were baby turtles yeah yeah so and were they playing the piano what would you say what did you say they said, were they playing the piano no no, no. nothing like uh, that last week we showed somebody sleeping on the park bench yeah mm. so it's getting excited the show's getting exciting we've upped our game this week with the turtles did, yeah. did you post with hashtag turtle fetish <laughs> no, <laughs> just wonder. Asking yeah, for a friend. I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just amazed. You know that, that I we get that kind of reaction uh, to nothing. nothing, to nothing. And when I now, it's got to be Marjorie. That's the, the, it's the star. Uh, yeah, be, the is pretty, you know. Well, no, but it's it's a star because I tried doing one by myself in the park a couple of weeks ago, and I got like seventy nine views. <laughs> See, now everybody knows we all the people are aware. What, what was the other <laughs> night on your show where you weren't on it? What? What was the deal with the other night on? I guess it was a Gabnet show. Maybe you weren't on the panel. I watched that show too. I actually put a comment in there going, "Where's Alex?" Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's the one with uh, with uh, Josh doing uh -huh. doing. He's doing uh, Friday nights for J Jack, who's been oh. out with whatever he's out with for the last month or so. Hmm. You know, and and uh, Josh said, "Do you mind if I maybe do one hour a week or something?" And I said, "Sure, go ahead." So uh -huh. he, we, he's up there, and we put his up on the uh, Gabnet page too. You but know. it said Alex Bennett is live. Oh, I know. That's oh, what called oh. me. Yeah, that's what ah, it's I like. see. The problem that we, I, Alex Bennett is live. Um, hmm. He is, isn't he? Well, no. <laughs> the, the only, and so is Charlie, thank God. The only place <laughs> it's being broadcast live is on Facebook, like we are right now. Yes, yeah. that's where we that's saw it. Oh, yeah, okay. that's where I'm All right. And it says Alex Bennett is live. Well, I guess I get to change. Well, whatever. Anyway, that was Josh and his little little show. You know, so whatever. But fourteen over fourteen hundred. It's going towards fifteen hundred. <laughs> I'm going. Wow. Marjorie's a star. Yeah, Marjorie's a star. Now, if you just give makeup tips, we'll probably go like thousands and thousands yeah. and thousands. Huh? If there's, certain amount, if there's a certain amount, you get money for it, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I no, not on Facebook. I'm not monetizing on Facebook. No, but you can. But I'm monetizing on YouTube, and we had a bunch of, you know. Instagram. Hmm? 
to do Instagram. <laughs> you know, I don't understand how you do Instagram. <laughs> you know, uh, you get you get enough followers. What I don't understand is out. I don't completely understand TikTok. Okay, and I watch TikTok a lot. I just flip the pages and go on to the next group of cute kitties and another group of cute kitties and then someone with large breasts and then another thing of cute kitties. <laughs> but it's I almost mean, like if you get a lot of followers, you start getting money somehow. I'm not sure how. But followers to what? You know, Your content, mean, they're content creators. That's well, the, well, that's wait a minute. But the content is so short. It's yeah, it can only it can only be one or two minutes. I think, yeah. But well, I was gonna say it's. I think it's also like as soon as you get enough followers, then you can go live. Yeah, you know, but you have uh, you know you get the ability by TikTok, and I think you get longer videos. But maybe three minutes is the longest. Well, I also don't. Live. I don't like TikTok because everything's in the uh, in the portrait mode, yeah. not in the landscape. Yeah. Mode. And we don't see, I'm telling you, everybody, just because your phone will shoot portrait doesn't mean that's the way we look at the world. We look at the world landscape. Mm -hmm. So it pisses me off that what they're doing is they're making portrait the order of the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking because about? Because right? people just have the phone in front of their face all the time. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But but you see, if, if like if Mandy were to go portrait mode on this, then we just have Mandy and not everything else around her. You know. My couch. <laughs> Your couch. I sit on the floor and lean against it. I'm so lazy. She, she paid for the couch, but I've never seen her sitting on it. She's always sitting on the floor. <laughs> do you prefer sitting? Do you prefer sitting on the floor than on the couch? Or? I'm kind of a floor sitter. I mean, I would. This couch is comfortable. I just. Since I have to prop this laptop on. You know, yeah, we table. got a new couch and it's it's pretty comfortable. You know. Yeah, I just want to stretch my legs out. I've been in the car for five and a half hours. So I'm just mm. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I haven't driven God in I don't know how long. And Shecky, you're not driving that much, are you? No, no. Because I told you, I'm afraid to go on the parkways because of these wacky drivers. They're yeah. terrible. It's awful. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah. nothing will happen to them if they kill you. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Well, you could sue them, but you'd be dead. So, you know. <laughs> but make sure if you're going to crash into somebody, you kill them so they can't sue you. Right. Yeah, but then their family will sue me and tell us what a wonderful person that person was and blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yes. <laughs> and You know, again, I never try to sound racist but like some 20 year old kid murdered somebody else and the mother's like but he's such a good boy <laughs> well apparently he had a lapse in uh, in judgment at, yeah. at a certain point um uh, i um you know what i don't what kind of gets me is like when somebody gets shot or whatever and then the family comes out or the the newscaster says and he leaves behind a family of three and a wife and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, yeah. <laughs> so anybody who would get killed would be leave somebody behind, you know? Uh, why do we always use that as the criterion? Mm. You know, I heard once uh, she leaves behind six children and I'm going, is he out of his mind? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Was he out of his mind? God bless him, you know? But on the other hand, I think there are a lot of people who have been dying recently that didn't deserve to, you know? And and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty terrible in my estimate. Yeah, but the suspect is often just released with no bail. Well, that's not always the case, you know? I said often. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it, it, was it was it in uh, Georgia you had that problem with that woman who got killed uh, when they uh, went in and her, they went to go get her boyfriend or something? Um, he up the boyfriend. He had a gun, the boyfriend. And he shot. And this police shot back and killed her. But he only uh, shot because he, he felt that he was being attacked by somebody. Yeah. 
Yeah, because they had they didn't do anything. They were in the wrong place. They, they were in the, the wrong morning. place. That was it. They got the wrong place. Oh, in the morning they were fast asleep. And it's like, oh well, you know, I mean, that's they. That's what happens. Sometimes people die. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a gun. You know, it's so crazy in Charleston. I guess it's just a liberal town, and they're surrounded by South Carolina. You know. So there were so many signs, so many shops that said no concealed weapons allowed. And, <clears throat> you know, where I guess it's allowed in South Carolina, but in Charleston, it's like every store. Well, apparently no Times Square weapons. has like signs now. You can't carry a concealed weapon. Uh huh. Well, the first thing yeah. that we saw when we came into this neighborhood, which is Harlem, was we went to the uh, Magic Johnson movie theater. Oh, what, what a way yeah. to support local economy, right? And as you walk to the door, at on the door, there was this picture of a gun with a circle and a slash through it. Gun busters. Yeah. No, <laughs> gun. yeah. no guns. I mean, you got to tell people not to bring guns to a movie theater. Did yeah, you see in Saskatchewan, two lunatics went and stabbed like 25 people to that 10, they're dead. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, the NRA it's made national news up here. You know something? It's about time you guys started catching up with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Saskatchewan, you know. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know what that means, but it's fun I was to say. Thinking, well, Canada, you know, they don't have very many guns, so they have nice. Well, all the, all the gun nuts are already posting. See, we told you it's. It's not the guns that kill people. You could do it with a knife too. <laughs> nah, we got we got lots of guns up here. It's just most of them are hunters. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, you have you have uh, per capita is maybe more guns than we do here in America. Believe it or not, per capita. Yeah, it's 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 high, but so and too is the hunting rate industry is, is quite low. And they never yeah. able to figure out why. Because if anybody needs to commit suicide, it's goddamn Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> because if I lived up there, I'd want to kill myself from the sheer boredom. Yeah, that's, it. That, that's in most greeting cards up here. What, <laughs> what did they say? No, 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 I'm kidding. Everybody's, there's, there's a lot of happiness up here. Yeah. And it's pretty damn hot, by the way, just so you know as well. We're in the 90s where I'm at right now, too. Wow. Yeah. That's warm. Yeah, Kelowna That's gets super hot, though, doesn't it? Yeah, Kelowna does get really hot. It's so cold. It's so warm. Oh, you got some, you how got warm, some east. How, how warm is it? Oh. The moose are melting. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the screeching halt alarm. Yeah, <laughs> they brought up the moose. <laughs> Never bring up a moose. <laughs> Must kill squirrel. <laughs> Why is a mountie a mountie when the mountie gets on a horse and is the mounter? <laughs> the mountie, the mountie is the horse. <laughs> Am I making jokes they make in Canada when I'm not there? I'm making jokes in my head right now. Um, you know, we don't know what the Mountie does off hours. Yeah. Or they might be considered. <laughs> hmm. No, it doesn't matter. That's a way homer. So I quit taking all my medicine. <laughs> decide, not all my medicine, but wow. all my my nice pill, the pregabalin and the, uh, the pee pill uh, and all of that. And guess what? My lightheadedness? It's worse than it's ever been. <laughs> medicine. Go figure. What? Take your medicine. What do you mean, take my medicine? Take your medicine. See you know what I was talking to you about, Rick? Don't let me get her to nag you. Well, <laughs> you threatened me with that, I think, yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you should go see a doctor. Well, I will do that. Yeah. Yeah. What are you waiting for, a stroke? Because I'm an idiot. Okay. Mm. <laughs> this is an answer. <laughs> Check and mate. What the? Anyway, I I think I think I have a, I have a problem. I it turns out I think my my neurologist figured it out. I have positional vertigo. 
and uh, it's a great movie. Do you try doggy style? <laughs> you, 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 you. <laughs> That's X-rated. <laughs> 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 uh, positional vertigo. Uh, uh, I, my my neurologist said he thinks that that's what I have because he goes and he you know takes his pen and he goes follow it, and he said, yeah, you got you got a problem there. He says you got positional vertigo because they can tell it by your eye movement. Mm. And uh, uh, I think that he, he tried to say that was the reason why I, you know, was uh, have that I finally went to the emergency room and everything. But what I had was positional vertigo, but that wasn't it. That was that was something else. This causes me to be dizzy when I if, let's say I'm down here in the courtyard and I did want to look up at the people working on the building. And I look up, I come back down, and I'm lightheaded. Huh. And there are some kind of, I don't know, um, uh, exercises you can do because what it is is you have a piece of a uh, of, of pebble or something in your ear that has come loose. And so you do these exercises that puts it <clears throat> into place. And when it isn't loose, then you don't have a positional vertigo. Is this interesting Sorry. anybody? Like a pebble, as in like a, a small rock? It's like a little... Pebble. So we got a screw loose, huh? <laughs> I think he literally said that he has rocks in his head. I think they've got a bunch of YouTube videos that show that, pulling those out of people's oh, ears. No, 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 not, you, no, you don't pull them out of your ear. You uh, want them in there. But you have For some to, reason, YouTube thinks I want to see earwax removals and pimple popping. So. Well, yeah. No, no, no there, is, there are actual things about this procedure that you do and lying down and turning your head this way and then turning your head this way and then doing this and that and doing a whole bunch i'm supposed to go to a, a physical therapist who's going to teach me how to do it but supposedly that will make the positional vertigo go away yeah um, but it's been two months alex and you haven't gone oh it's been more than that yeah yeah but you know, well i'm it, 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 i'm going when shecky goes to a doctor Okay. <laughs> you guys can go together, hold hands. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. My friend Randy came over today, and she's like, "I'm making you an appointment with my internist. We're going to get to the bottom of this." Yeah. Well, he's had he's had certain passing out problems. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Hope you feel better, man. He has yeah, candy. absolutely. He has candy. He tries to pass it out to kids, and they won't take it. Yeah. Uh, uh, problems. Thank you. <laughs> but she went to Wegmans and brought me food today. So, you know. Wegmans? Yeah. I've never been to a Wegmans in my life. What is Wegmans? Oh, it's a great grocery store. It's like a gourmet grocery store. Who do, we have? Who do we have here? We have somebody we've never seen before. Or have we seen this person before? Oh, no, that's my partner, Mark. Huh? That's my partner, Mark. Oh, is that Mark Trust? Yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. I think he wants to make sure I'm alive. <laughs> oh. oh, Mark, man. are you there? Can you hear us? Can you hear <laughs> us, Mark? No, I'm still connecting. Connecting to audio. Okay. There we go. Connecting to audio. He's connecting. And there he is. Can you hear us, Mark? Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So you see, Shecky's looking okay, isn't he? Uh, a little grizzly, but okay otherwise. Huh? <laughs> a little on the grizzly side, though. I think that that you know you've been you've been yelling at him about hey, take care of yourself, whatever. And so he said, "Well, come watch me on the show on Monday. You'll see I'm okay." <laughs> <laughs> and so, or I'm not dead walk. yet. How's that for a better answer? <laughs> Uh, but yes. Randy, Randy went to Wegman. She brought me two hero sandwiches. She brought me sushi. She brought me a loaf of bread. She brought me cherries, apple cider. You know, like right mm -hmm. here, apple mm -hmm. cider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we, you know, the thing is that we don't know whether you're well or not because every time we see you, you're lying in bed. <laughs> yes, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, maybe next time you should be but out. She, like but she, she said to me today, she goes, maybe it's low blood pressure. Could be mm. that. Could be that. You know. But anyway, uh, uh, see, he's he's okay. He's okay. How's the how's the heat, by the way, out in California, Mark? Well, I'm I'm in like Marina del Rey, so even here it's not great, but it's you go ten blocks in and it's so it's you're at, you're you're near the beach. Yeah. So right. you get the ocean breezes. Right. And it's about ten to fifteen degrees cooler than it would be a mile away. Yeah, but in LA itself, it's like a hundred degrees, right? Yeah. Well, more. Hollywood, I believe, is like a hundred degrees. Mm -hmm. Jeez. And uh Valley was 125. <laughs> well, yeah. death, they don't call it Death Valley for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> Simi Valley is about the same. See me. <laughs> yeah. They don't call <laughs> it see me for nothing. <laughs> yeah, but that Death Valley is uh, uh it, you know. Uh, yeah, they had that torrential rain out there and all the guests in the park got stranded. That was the other thing. Death Valley suddenly had floods. Mm -hmm. now, that's not common, is it? No, no. You know, I mean, it. The, it don't tell me we don't have weather problems, okay? Because we got something going. Something's going on here. That's well, people. You know, people just aren't praying enough, you know. And you think it's bad <laughs> here? It's just as bad in Europe now. Yeah, they're having floods like crazy. They're going through fires. It fires and then california i wonder this about california at what point do we get to the point where there's nothing left to burn down <laughs> tuesday huh? tuesday yeah tuesday tuesday what what tuesday i don't know but it's a tuesday no it's run a out. tuesday yeah <laughs> no it's amazing it's surprising how green it still is when you're on the 405 and you're going to, to uh the valley it's still incredibly green on the hillside i don't know how that happens or how that exists but it's not well it's you not really enough, about two years ago that everything is burning yeah. as you were down down the highway well you know i hear about for instance i heard about a fire recently in lake tahoe that's where marjorie and i got married mm -hmm. you know and uh so um I don't know if that's a commentary on our marriage or not, but <laughs> yeah, a little. So, no comment. so anybody doing anything exciting for Labor Day? Plumbing. What? Plumbing. Plumbing. Plumbing? Sure. I just installed all new drains in my new house. Yourself? <laughs> yeah, the toilet flanges and pipes and sink drains. And I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I bought a house I'm downsizing to and I had to cut all the old plumbing out so I was gluing and cutting PVC pipe all weekend wow yeah so Thank I'll you. have I'll be able to have a pot to piss in soon <laughs> <laughs> I mean what's Charlie's shirt say what Charlie what's your shirt what does Charlie's shirt say oh he always has great shirts what is this yeah one? he does one says there are two type of people in this world People who can extrapolate from incomplete data. <laughs> <laughs> Which like one that. are you, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I was at a restaurant and all the employees had a shirt and on the back of it, it said, I love my job. <laughs> it's their uniform shirt. Oh. I, love my job. I want to make shirts that say, I love my job and my boss will fire me if I take this off. Right. <laughs> uh, but no, that that, that uh, 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 let's see here. Yeah. That's great, man. <laughs> yeah, and two, uh, two kinds of people in this. Yeah, the best shirts. Yeah, he always has great shirts. By the way, I heard a great joke the other day. I don't know where I heard this. Somebody was talking about. I think it was Joan Crawford. You know who she was, the actress. Yeah. And she was doing the Loretta Young TV show. And Loretta Young, Loretta Young supposedly hated people swearing. And uh, Joan Crawford is reading the script, and then she fumfers a word, and she goes, oh, damn it. And Loretta Young says, you know, every time somebody swears here, they have to put 25 cents in the cup <laughs> or in the jar. 
And so Crawford picks out 25 cents and throws it in the jar. And she goes along. She's reading some more. And she goes, oh, for God's sake, damn it again. And she goes, another 25 cents. <laughs> goes, okay, here's the 25 cents. She's going along some more. And again, she gets she gets flustered and she goes, for Christ's sake. And Loretta Young says, here, give me 25 cents. And she says, no, here's $10. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 that was a, and supposedly that's a true story. That's it sounds true. like a true story. Yeah. <laughs> and now this episode has been demonetized. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was telling a salient quip about the past. Uh -huh. It still counts. <laughs> it still counts. I'm, I'm calling the cancel patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, it, 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 anybody do anything exciting today for Labor Day? I guess not. We got, we got More exciting than plumbing. Over. Yeah, we got we got two other couples come over. We're gonna do a little swim in the backyard barbecue. So, the, the, you do, do you have a swimming pool? I do. Oh, okay, because I thought it would be terrible if you didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> big big yeah. sponge. Let me let me see if I can take you for a, a backyard. Oh, here we're gonna we're gonna get a, a oh, yeah, yeah, real sure. feeling of Labor Day. We a couple of weeks ago, didn't we get you, Mandy, at a party or at a pool party or something when we were doing? Yeah, uh, yeah. that was Memorial Day. That was yeah. Memorial. Memorial Day. So this is the other side of Memorial Day, and Len, who's your pal, your travel pal, uh, <laughs> is going to show us the pool. Oh, there's the pool. There it is. Very yeah. nice, very nice little pool. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's, uh, it's hot out here. It's 110 easy. Oh, wow. How hot? About uh, at least 108, 109. I don't know. It's hot. Now, is that the ambient air temperature, or yeah, is that because oh. you're standing on concrete? Right? No, no, no. That's the that's the air temperature. Wow. And guess what? It's 84 here. Wow. But since it's 150 million degrees or percentage humidity. Yeah. Oh, are you are you the humidity here is about eight or nine right well, now? Well, <laughs> it's only how many degrees there, Mandy? Eighty-four. Eighty-four degrees, but you're in Georgia, so it's also nineteen fifty-six. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look and see what this. Uh, what, what, what did you do? You have your temperature thing? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. One hundred eight. Oh. One hundred eight. Wow. It's eighty-one in New York. Is that all? Yeah. Let me let me yeah. see what the let me see what the humidity is showing. It's ninety one here in Austin. Eighty one for the ninety one percent humidity. It's it's going yeah. to one it's going to one fourteen with the humidity of ten percent. <laughs> really? Wow. Sixty nine <laughs> degrees here. Uh -huh. well, let me see here. What what does it say on my phone here? That says. Uh, just said it, Alex. Oh, I know you just said it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> don't y'all live in the same house? Charlie, did it finally quit raining there? No, and it rained all day yesterday. So, wow. it's been raining a lot here too. It's amazing how many things we take for granted now. We just look at our phone and tells us everything we need to know. It's yeah. crazy. Well, you guys, your weather is going to start to change this pretty soon, huh? You're going to start oh, getting cool. Well, we would like it to. This has been the warmest. I think I can't remember a summer this hot. Mm. You know. Um, and you didn't get any snow last year, you said, right? Uh, I did. We get any snow last year? No. We had like one very minor, two or three inches. Yeah. If that. If that. If that. Mm. And how about up in Canada? Yeah, getting some. Get is. Is it snowing yet? <laughs> 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 where we we get snow usually well sometimes it's a green christmas where i am so we like having it around that time and then uh it's nice there was the year that i graduated and the pat two years after that yeah. there were golf courses that stayed open 365 days Real. wow we're in a valley though right so it's uh where it's where, where are you exactly in canada okay so Go north of, uh, okay, so Washington. There's a place called Wenatchee, Washington, which is like right on the right on the border. We're just yeah. above that. 
Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're on towards you're on the east coast, west coast. West coast. Yeah. 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 Four four hours from Vancouver, right? You bet. Yeah. Oh, you're that far from Vancouver. I want to go to Vancouver. So Vancouver's bad. amazing. Yeah. The best, place, right, best cool. place I've ever been was an island, like in the Puget Sound, Blakely Island. Yeah. It was gorgeous. Yeah. It was like fairy tale forest. You know what I mean? Like not like the woods in Georgia. Mm. I love taking a uh, road trip down to Seattle and then when coming home, taking the ferry that goes through all those islands and it ends up on Vancouver Island and then yeah. taking it that that circle in. It's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Yeah. See, yeah. I didn't imagine you up uh, on the on the West Coast. I thought you were kind of yeah. on the East Coast. Like yeah, so did I. Yeah. So, oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, I'm super, super West. That part of Canada is gorgeous. Right where you are is nice. Kelowna is amazing. The Okanagan Valley is absolutely yeah. spectacular. It's wine country where I live. Yeah. I had a friend, of course, some people know, who lived in a town to the east of you called Revelstoke. Revelstoke. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have clients in Revelstoke. Huh? I have clients in Revelstoke. Really? Yeah. What 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 do you do? Smuggle people out of their <laughs> surroundings? <laughs> I wish it was that exciting. No, life insurance and investments and things like that and all because that. The way, I, the way I heard <laughs> it, uh, Revelstoke isn't the middle of nowhere, but you can see it from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have world-class skiing in Revelstoke, though. Their population quadruples in the winter because they have um, that means like hella, that hella means skiing. That means there are 20 people instead. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, world class uh, extreme skiing in Revelstoke. What do you mean, hell skiing? They take you up in a helicopter to a peak yeah. somewhere, and then you, yeah, drop you off at the top of the drop mountain. you off at the top, and then you try to kill yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I could never do stuff like that because I could never do anything that would terrorize me. <laughs> you know, I never understood. I people have trouble walking down the street. Who do Please. stuff that is uh, to terrorize him. What happened to Mark? He's still Mark, there. Oh, there he's he is. Skiing. Mark's there. Yeah, he's hella skiing. I'm giving you, I'm giving you my view. Uh, uh, and now you're where right. exactly, uh, Mark? Rio Ray. Yeah. Uh, oh, neat. Admiralty Way. It's it's right along the uh, the marina. Essentially, it's on the other side of the building. Mm -hmm. And, and what? wasn't those wasn't those buildings were they built by Howard Hughes or they the Howard Hughes building? Oh, cool. And the circular ones. You see it in odd shots of Charlie's Angels every, every so often. Mm -hmm. And what are those on the shelf? Pictures? Oh, those are those are comic. Those are little action figures and comic books and stuff. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were into that. Yeah. I, oh. I reluctantly admit it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rick, I, your guy's a very memorable museum in his house. Yeah, yeah. That's very nice. Is that an office you have there? Yeah, I have a little office apartment, and upstairs is our regular room. Oh, how nice. And the view looks. Yeah, it's a nice view. I mean, uh, you can see, in a clear day, you can see the Hollywood sign. In a clear day, you can see the comic books. <laughs> well, it's the light. <laughs> I know. Uh, on a clear day, we'd like to see your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, have, I haven't seen his face. Rick actually looks better than I do. When was the last time I saw Mark, Rick? Oh, I think it was one of God only knows. Able shows. At least, at least 30, 40 years ago. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. Been a, while. a long time. But, uh, but he, lives in, he lives in the marina now. He's out of the East Coast. He doesn't yeah. live here. Yeah. Just uh, Sandy pretty much uh, killed me. Uh, killed yeah. my desire to stay around. Mm hmm. You, you, know, you, don't miss, you, you, don't, experience. you don't miss New York, do you at all? No, not at all. We, we were back, I was back in May. Mm -hmm. Just found the whole place, Manhattan itself, really just off. I mean, it didn't feel like it had you when know I what it was. It, when you and I first knew each other, this was not the most accommodating town. It was a kind of a dangerous town of sorts. But there was, a certain, there was a certain thing about that danger that made it interesting. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. Uh, yeah, we walked down Times Square in the, in the 70s. And we walked down Times Square. There were porno stores selling uh, pocket knives, you know, and dildos. Uh, in and, that order? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it was, it, there was sounds a, like a good Friday night. It was like somebody <laughs> once described it like uh, walking on the edge of a razor, and, and there's a certain excitement in that, and I found that exhilarating. Now I find this the most boring town in America. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just they're building these these pencil thin buildings and things like that, and there's nothing exciting about it or unique about it. There's nothing I could point to and say that's New York. Who, who just fell off a building yesterday or something? Who was the, the CFO? Officer yeah. of Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. Oh, what, what the hell? He jumped, didn't he? He what jumped. Was, what was that? What building did he jump out of? It's it's building. The Bed yeah, Bath and Beyond building, and he landed. No, on, <laughs> didn't he land on? Looked, wouldn't he have landed? Um, wouldn't he have landed on mattresses? <laughs> it's the one that looks like not. a Jenga or something. He had. He couldn't find a place to get new shower curtain rings. <laughs> I think they are playing Django with those buildings. I think they're going to remove it a floor at a time until one of the buildings falls. What is the deal with that skinny building on the north side of? Uh, well, they, could, they they only they only could buy out a bodega on the ground floor, and they had to build a building with the footprint of the bodega all the way to the sky. I, I can't imagine how small that was. Oh, um, it's it, 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 they're. They're insane. I mean, there's something about it. When I look out at the skyline, there's something about it that as I'm looking at, it, I say it's getting to be the city of the future now. Mm. No, it's getting to look like Dubai. Mm. Dubai looks like the city like of the, the future. future. Yeah. You know? San Francisco, they ruined the San Francisco skyline with that fucking uh, Salesforce tower. It looks like a penis. Is that it's the one absolutely- that's, is that the one that's tilting? No, uh, no, that's the one, the build, the apartment building that's nearby. That's no, it looks way. like a penis. It's the one that curves. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with you there, but uh... <laughs> no, it, there's some it, pills it, for that. It, it looks, it looks <laughs> terrible. I don't know. It used to be you'd see the Trans America Pyramid and go, oh, that's San Francisco. Now uh, that Salesforce Tower just dwarfs everything, and it looks terrible. Well, you know, there was a time when you couldn't build a building taller than 20 stories in San Francisco. Yeah. And part of it was done for aesthetics because what you didn't want were a bunch of buildings that would obliterate the height of the hills. Yes. Yes. You know, and now it's kind of, I don't know, it's just cities lose their character. And that's the problem. You know. You're absolutely well, right. Well, look at what's going on here, where the mayor wants to knock down like 12 blocks around Penn Station to put up office towers. Who's going into an office anymore? Yeah, well, nobody goes to the office. Yeah. Yeah, that's the real one, estate thing, I do. That's the one thing you don't want to buy these days are office <laughs> buildings. <laughs> yeah. Commercial. I mean, we saw, we saw a thing on what on CBS Sunday Morning this week about the fact that offices are now being done remotely you know yeah yeah i'll never set foot in an office again well there's some companies that have said well i want my people coming to work and what that is that's a power thing Mm -hmm. they just want people coming into work so they can see these are my people who work for me Mm. but if he's got a brain in his head he can go you know i can get rid of this real estate i don't have to rent this anymore Right. Yeah, but they're getting tax breaks. They're making money off these buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Who's making it's, money off of them? The, the realtor. Okay. There's there's benefit to both. We we mostly we're mostly in the office. Mm-hmm. And, and, what, and what do you the see? Collabor- the collaborative meetings with folks around the table are still far more productive than a bunch of people on Zoom interrupting each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you you have everybody come in once a week. No, we're in most days. Yeah, yeah. But this, you know, I, there's a lot of people in commercial real estate that are recognizing that the the trend to go away from the office is shifting. People I can't recall back. Mandy ever working from home. Were you working from home for a while? No. 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 I was so uh, close to the office. Yeah. I, it was just me and the owner of the company went in. Well, Marjorie Turned worked up. from home. Marjorie worked from home. During COVID, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and she was able to get most of her stuff done, you know, yeah. any problem. I had, I had a letter in my car that said I was essential. <laughs> Paula? 
<laughs> it's isolating. I don't think it's really good for you to uh, to not be around people when you do whatever work you do. Okay, but let's say right now you were younger and you had children. And, it, you know, wouldn't it allow you to spend more time with your kids? Yeah. Being able to work from home. <clears throat> well, aren't they in school? Well, maybe they're not yet. You know, I mean, it's it's it's. I still think that we come back 100 years from now, most people are going to be working from home. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm obviously manufacturing, you can't do that. But, you know, these tech jobs, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I just noticed we ran out of time here. Thanks for spending the holiday with me. I didn't know how many people would call, and I guess mm -hmm. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, Andrew, thank you so much for having joined me uh, today, as well as Charlie Wallace, Mandy mm -hmm. O'Brien, always a pleasure, Paul Levin, uh, Len LaFrisco, <clears throat> uh, uh, Rick Sheckman, uh, Marjorie mm -hmm. Miller, uh, Mike Chisholm, and uh, uh, Mark Trost, who uh, I haven't seen in years and years and years, but look at him. Shecky's looking okay, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He look could look him. better. We got to get him to look better. Well, he's never going to look better. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, yeah. signing us off today with his cartoonish voice is Edward Berger, who says, That's all, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peace and love. Bye. Thank you, Ryan. Bye.